Hello everyone, I'm Deborah from Deborah Dell's Craft Room. Tonight I'm going to be painting a spider out of this little cannonball gourd that I've painted black and uh, we'll see what we come up with. I hope you enjoy the video. These are the products that we'll be using for this project. They are Americana acrylic paints by Deco Art. The colors are Santa Red, Light Avocado, Wasabi Green, Lamp Black, Graphite, and Light Buttermilk. We'll also be using Dura Clear Satin Varnish. I painted this little cannonball with black paint. I think it only needed one coat. And then I drew on two ovals for the eyes and a mouth with a tongue in it. And I've started painting the eyes white, leaving the top part um, black so that I can paint it another color, green or something. Okay, so I'm going to put another coat of white in here. With the wasabi green, I'm going to paint the eyelids. I'll need to touch up along the sides of the eyes and put a couple more coats of wasabi on. Okay, with the uh, pencil, we're going to draw the pupils in. The pupils are only going to be half. See that? Okay. the irises with light avocado. A good combination with the wasabi. Of course you can use any color you want. You want blue eyes or brown eyes or all black. It's up to you. Okay, I have the greens in the eyes. I'm going to be doing the pupils next and also touching up around where I have little 
wiggly lines on the edges. Next thing is shading the eyelids. I'm going to shade them with a light avocado, same color as the irises. Okay, I'm going to use graphite for the line on the eyelids and for the eyelashes. Just drag across the top. And I'm going to do another eyelash. I think two will is enough. Do the other eye. I'm going to put some uh, lower eyelashes on over to the side a little. Okay, I'm going to put some eyebrows on with the graphite also. If you have another color gray that's a little bit lighter, you can use that. It'll, it'll show better, but. The eyebrows. 
the eyelashes. It's hard to see. You can see them better in person. Okay, now we're going to shade the irises with black. I'm painting the tongue now, inside the mouth. It looks like it looks like lips right now, but it's when you get the lines in, it looks like a tongue. I'm using Santa Red. With a light buttermilk, I'm going to do the uh, little shiny spots in the eyes. Okay. We're probably going to have to put three coats of this red on because. Uh, It's not easy to cover black with red. Okay. okay, I'm gonna put a little white on the eyelids this time. Now I'm gonna line the mouth with the graphite. This line for the mouth is thicker than usual so that you can see it better. Okay, that's the top part of the mouth. I put a smile line on there. Put another smile line over here. Now another coat of red on the 
tongue. I'm going to put a little heart near his eye as long as the red is still wet. Two dip dots. And then the point. I like the red in this because it brightens it up a little. Now I'm going to line the tongue. Now we just need to put some teeth in his mouth. This is a biting spider. So Okay. Hi. It's day two of our spider. I got that wire out to push through for the legs from one side to the other, but there was so much netting inside of the gourd that it wouldn't go through without bending the wire. So I got some pipe cleaners today and hopefully those will work okay. It's a cute guy. We'll see what he looks like with legs. I patched up this side because I drilled holes in the wrong place the first time and I had to bring them up so I'm filling these holes all in and shortly I'm going to sand them and paint over. But until then I'm working on the other side because we're not gonna go across this time. The pipe cleaners, we're just going to push them in with a little glue, put some beads on them, and hopefully they'll stay in. Just don't let the kids play with it, that's all. Putting a little paint inside the holes so that you can't see the color of the gourd in there. Touch up any scratches that might be on it. Okay, okay now I'm going to get some glue. Now I have the glue. I'm going to put a little bit there. It'll just keep them from sliding out, I think. I hope. 
twist it, and there we go. You'll need some wire cutters to cut these because these are too long and we're going to have to shorten them after the beads are on. Have paper beads that I made. You cut a really long triangle and wrap it around a toothpick. There's a lot of videos on YouTube that show how to do these in case you want to do them this way. I just didn't have any black beads that were the right size so I used these. I made them a long time ago so. Okay now I'm putting one of the beads up there I've planned on putting five, but I'm not sure if I'll need that many. Okay. I put that bead on for the knees, but I didn't really like how it looked because there was fuzz hanging out of it. So I went into my bead drawer and got a little, well, it's a six slash zero seed bead. Sometimes they call them E beads. And I, uh, I'm gonna put those where the knees of this thing are. Oh, that looks much better. See how that looks now? That little knee in there. Okay. Let's see. Okay, there's one. One leg. I used to make these before, these spiders, but I made them on really big gourds. And I would use the wooden beads from those car seats and paint them black. And they worked out pretty good. But this spider is too small for legs that large. Okay, here we go, another one. Okay, still waiting for that stuff to dry on the other side. So I'm going to clip these off. Part way, and then I'm gonna wrap them around a, a paintbrush with a little taper on it so that it... Okay, now... Okay. I'm making a little spiral for the foot. Okay, let's see how that how you, there you go. That looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, now I'll do the next one.
out. The spider is finished. His legs are flopping around a little, but I think when the glue dries, it'll hold better. So there you have it. Okay. Well, thank you very much for watching my video of a Halloween spider. I told my husband I was going to sing the Itsy Bitsy Spider Bud. Okay, I'll do it. The Itsy Bitsy Spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Thank you all for watching my video. If you subscribe to my channel, I won't sing anymore. So, okay, well, there you go. I'm going to be doing an elf soon because my mother wants one. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Bye bye now.